So it's about five o'clock in the morning and I got some very precious cargo up in the truck camper. Y'all know who it is. It's Kelly. She didn't want to get up, but she was all down for uh, for what we're doing right now. So what we're doing is we're down in Pensacola. The very first time we ever came here, we met some YouTubers. One of them's name was Phil from Salt Swatch, if you've seen even some of our videos before, and they were catching some fish called Pompano. So the other day I called Phil and I was like, hey man, we're coming down this spring. Are y'all available for some fishing? He says, I am not. However, I have a really good friend named Tony. He has a YouTube channel as well called Fish Gum. So I haven't met Tony yet. I've watched some of his videos. He seems like a really cool cat. Can't wait to meet him in a minute. But I am super excited to try to catch some Pompano on the beach and cook it up. I don't know if Kelly's laying in the bed or if she actually got up to sit up in the chair. I think I found him. What's up, man? Hey, hey. Are you the first one up? Well, she's up in bed. Oh, cool. Good to meet you. I'm Tony. You, Cody. Nice to meet you. This is Jack over. You may have met Jack before. Maybe uh, you were shark fishing with Big yeah. John. Yeah, I met Jack. Hey, brother, how you doing? If we catch a shark, he's your man. Heck yeah. <laughs> Look forward to hanging out. Yeah, brother. I awesome, like brother. that light on top of your oh, hat. Appreciate it, brother. All right, already cool guy. How was the ride, babe? Was it loud in here? <laughs> it's not gross. But... Oh, it did? Okay. Well, they're out there. <laughs> I was always joking with Kelly and said, you know what? You should really enjoy sleeping up there one time while I drive around. I was kind of always curious also to know what it sounds like inside the camper as you drive because we've never done that. This is Jack. Jack's the one that went fishing for shark when I showed up that evening. That was yeah. late that night, right? Yeah, very late. Okay. Yeah. And then Tony with fish gum. He's the one that I'm supposed to be fishing. I didn't know Jack was going to be coming today. So, <laughs> man, surprising. I'm excited to see you. Bro. We brought the expert out. I mean, so I, I, you know, he knows what he's doing. I'm just along for the ride. No, he's, he's, a, he's a doctor. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> so I told him how I can't ever catch fish. And he just said, this will be Mr. Hit because the way the tide is with the being churned up. The, the pattern here, usually the spring run for Pompano starts March, April, May, and we haven't seen the big numbers. And so either it's been a little too cold or the pattern's off where they're just coming in during the storms or during a stiff south wind. So yesterday was a storm. And so today should be the pattern where we'll find them, I hope. What is the gum in fish gum? Fish gum itself is a combination of real and synthetic bait scent extract. And the gum is what holds it together. And it's almost like fishing with a chum bag, but it's a chum bait that fish love because of the scent. And so they're fooled into thinking it's a crab, a sand flea, a shrimp, and okay. they go, oh, I'm gonna eat this because it smells like the real thing. So that's what fish gum is. Right. There you go, man. Right there. Let's do this. So we're using some little pieces of fish gum. It doesn't take much. We're going to put a little bit of a triangle on here and we're good to go. Now this is ghost shrimp. They live in burrows that can go down to three foot past the seabed. One of the best natural baits of all time. Close. That's it. There you go. All right. Let's put them out there. So if you're wondering what Jack's doing down here, he's actually looking for sand fleas, right? Yes, sir. Got a couple already. I like to stick them in my pocket. This way we like to use my bait for uh, pompano. though. They work very well, just like ocean. shrimp. And people actually eat these too. They fry them up. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't, but a lot of people have. Look, there's one right in it. Oh, man. I already got some. Tony called this. He said, you know, our very first fish today is probably going to be a catfish. It's always a catfish. <laughs> I didn't even know if there was saltwater cats. There is. They're not, I mean, you can eat them, but they're not desirable. They're a lot more uh, venomous than the uh, freshwater catfish as well. So you got to watch out for the spines. They're very venomous. Got a cat. Oh, it's a cat. Big cat. We want those cats to stop hitting. Yep. Hopefully, when that sun gets bright, they stop. Yes. So basically, whenever the cats quit biting, is when the sun fully comes up. Exactly. Hey, and it's coming. It's coming. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that sunrise. What better way to start a morning, any morning, 
than this right now. Look at this. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Give me some. That's a nice one, too. I think it was Ghost Run. So, is that how you hold it? Um, you can hold them anyway. Okay. Okay. You've had Pompano before. I've never had Pompano. Oh, my. I've heard so much gosh. about Pompano. I've never had Pompano. Yeah, you're in for an incredible treat. Yes, sir. They eat a healthy diet of crustaceans, typically sand fleas. I think you've seen some of the bait that we've caught. Ghost shrimp, clams. So that makes their meat taste a little different. If you're thinking about eating crab all your life, your meat's going to taste really good because you're eating crab, right? It is the most expensive fish to buy at the fish market. So that tells you something about the flavor. What I love about this community is everybody is friends and everybody works as a team. Amen. And it's just, it's really neat to come out here and see how y'all interact with each other. You know, when you're grinding it out, surf fishing, and especially in this YouTube world, you associate yourself with people that you can, you know, lean on. And so like you said, this community is special and I wouldn't want it any other way. You're sabotaging my rigs, man. Kelly just texted me, says she's up. Let's go see how she enjoys waking up to this beautiful scenery. Pretty nice. Good morning. Good morning. Honey, how awesome is it to wake up to this? Wait, you're not even up yet. I can't even see it, but I just have the windows open and I can just smell it. And oh, I just wanted to lay here even longer just because I didn't want it to end. Well, it hasn't ended. But I want to sleep here. I want to sleep right here. Oh, tonight? <laughs> I don't want to go to I mean, we can if you want to. I mean, I'll, I'll park right here. We can sleep right here. Hey, great news. We already caught a pompano. Maybe and some screaming. Is that, was that y'all? Maybe. <laughs> some guys yelling. Yeah, it was us. That was us. Hey, honey, I think they just caught another one. I'll be right back. Yeah, they just caught another pompano. That's what I'm talking about. Is it filming? Sweet. Go, Cody. Bring that pompano in. Bring that pompano in. Sir, you just caught your first Florida pompano. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not better fight than a catfish, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That is so awesome, man. Let's see what he hit. See in his mouth here. That is actually the ghost shrimp. Like I told you before, it's the primo bait. They find it when it's rough out. You saw the rough surf. We got a measure. It has to be 11 inches to the fork to keep. Nose on the zero. Nose on the zero. Be legal, baby. Be legal. Oh, he is. He's almost 12. He's almost 12. Yes. Yeah, he's legal. Congratulations. First for the Pompano. This is my first Pompano I've ever caught in my life. And it was a really hard fight for a fish this size. This was so much fun. What? They are out there catching some fish. I just heard them yelling again. So that's a good sign. That's Cody saying, and I like to sleep. <laughs> But I'm going to do some coffee and we've got overnight oats, orange cranberry, and then we're just going to go chill. We're going to watch and see how many fish they can catch today. Looks like they caught another one. It's so funny because I was just eating and I saw them standing over here out the window and they just start running over and Cody's reeling it in. I wish y'all could see from here. It's so weird how distance is like, they seem closer than what it looks like on camera to y'all. He's reeling it in. It is time to place the anklet. I haven't worn it since Key West. Why is it time to place the anklet because I will not be wearing hiking boots. <laughs> okay, I need two hands. You gotta have 
two hands to put this on. And then once you put the anklet on, magically your whole leg from your calf down just looks a thousand times better. Done. Had to come back and get a little morning coffee, eat some breakfast. And let me tell you, those overnight oats, phenomenal delicious but i gotta show y'all something so cool that tony has it's a 30 foot tall uh tripod basically to hold cameras on and my cell phone right now is getting some really gorgeous shots at the top look at that is that not crazy Yes, sir. I got your line. Come for it. Man, look at that one. Beautiful pompano. All right, I just ran a 440. <laughs> That's a beautiful pompano. This one ate ghost shrimp. We're at the end of our fishing experience today, but Tony here, he's become one of my new best friends. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. I love this guy. <laughs> but Jack and Tony together are going to teach me how to clean a pompano so that Kelly can cook it later. Yeah, you and guys are in store for some good food, man. Okay. I can't wait to hear how it goes. So I'm going to make sure Tony's information is linked below for his YouTube channel, Facebook page, and his fish gum. Now you need that when you're going fishing if you want to catch some fish because that's what we were using today and it worked amazingly yes it did we had a good time we used the ghost shrimp we used some shrimp with fish gum and we came home with four fish which is great time's been slow here for fishing so this is a huge win for us and out of everybody else that was fishing today nobody was catching anything but us so that was pretty cool Hi. <laughs> i finally bought myself a true fillet knife I used to have a Walmart one. It was always kind of crapping out on me. But you had to catch fish in order for you to, to utilize this knife, right? Yes, <laughs> I had to catch fish. And look at this nice presentation. Yes. The pompano. Man, those are those are really like some big fish. I know. Mm -hmm. So uh, how does this work? Um, he's got the better knife. So I've got one that I can do whole fish. Uh, Kelly said that you're gonna cook two, probably salt baked. Okay. And then you're gonna do two fillets. Okay. And so we're gonna do the bigger fish as fillets. Yeah. Okay. You know, when you have a, a backstrack of a deer or you have a filet mignon, that's all right here by the head. It's the head meat. So we're just gonna cut this and I'm gonna give that to Jack. I'm just gonna go ahead and gut it. Take the knife and like score right next to the fin. Oh, that's sharp. It is sharp. It's a good knife. It's flexible too. Yeah. You take the first cut, and now way you can take your thumb, you can lift it up, and use this. Ooh. Slide across it. <laughs> like Get butter. Like yeah. butter. Okay. That's Play right. done. Now, what I like to do before I even take the skin yep. off is I can take my knife yep. right down the middle, get that bloodline out and the pin bones out all in one swipe. What was the second thing you said? Pin bones. Pin, pin bones. bones. So okay. you put your finger right here, you will feel bones yeah. right here. Okay. Oh, I feel them. Yeah. And you don't want to eat that. And this is. One of the hardest parts with popping on fishing. Wait a second, do you want skin on or skin off? You can keep skin on. Skin on, okay. okay. Yeah, we'll keep yep. skin off. Never mind then. <laughs> That's good the way it is then. Hi guys, we watch y'all all the time. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, all the time. How about that? That's Going awesome. Well? Oh, yeah. we're living live. Yeah. Use a tip of the mic too, it might okay. be even better. There you go. Just there keep go. just keep Ooh. carving. Just keep carving you until that? you feel that Ooh. backbone. Keep carving. There you go. This is nice. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You've got the backbone. Your fillet looks better than Jack's. <gasps> it does actually. I ain't gonna lie. Look, look how close it got in that bone. We need to compare back bones till we're done and just don't tell nobody. Okay. <laughs> and I'm done. That is an amazing little fillet. That is really uh, I ain't gonna lie. He's got the other side now. We have two filleted fish and then two whole fish. So we're gonna freeze the whole fish because we're not cooking that tonight. Tony is gonna show us how to get all the air out of the Ziploc bag because I just have storage bags, not freezer bags. So you basically just have a bucket of water and you just begin to put the fish in or whatever you're trying to vacuum seal in there slowly because air is the enemy when freezing. That's what causes the freezer burn. And then once we get it down in there, we just start trying to seal it and we leave a little corner open and we continue to get the rest of the air out in that little corner. And we have wow. vacuum sealed. Is the water in there okay? Perfect. Yeah, water in there is fine. Okay, cool. And we can, yeah, it's fine like that. That would make a good short. That would make a great short. Do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> so Tony has to go to work. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Enjoyed it, brother. We'll make yeah. sure to put his information in the description below for fish gun. fish gun, baby. And Jack here. This guy, what's up? 
He doesn't say much, but when he does, it's very powerful. <laughs> yes, I move people. We'll put Jack's information in the link below. And Jack, what's your channel's name? It's called Yakking with Jack. I do a lot of fishing, mostly kite fishing offshore in the ocean. I like your style. That's all right. He does it, man. These guys are my heroes today, aren't they, honey? Yeah, thank you all for coming out. <laughs> You're welcome. We enjoyed it. Nice to meet you both. Yeah, you too. We'll do awesome, it again, brother. Thank yeah. you, guys. Well, we'll Kelly, just keep in contact. We'll see sure. you again, oh, we will. We will. Come back here. If you can tell, I'm a little red because Kelly and I have spent the rest of the day at the beach and I got a little too much sun. Yeah, you didn't wear sunscreen. Y'all didn't hear that. Anywho, I want to make a toast to y'all at home as well that we have finally caught fish. Thank you, Jack and Tony. If it wasn't for you two, I, we wouldn't have any fish to be able to do this, but the fact that we have fish mm -hmm. to cook. Toast? Yeah. Cheers. Toast at home? Cheers. Yes. Wow, I'm happy. I can't wait. Oh. I'm ready to get started. All right, so with the fish, we're gonna be pan searing it with some herbs. Y'all see me do the other fish. It's gonna be some herbs, lemon, butter, um, wine and we're gonna make a creamy tarragon sauce so it's gonna be the sauce with the fish on top to serve and then we've got Brussels sprouts and some colorful potatoes so first thing we're gonna do is prepare the potatoes so we're just gonna dice the potatoes up and throw them on this pan and then we're gonna dress them up with some yummy seasoning and we're gonna toss them in the oven and of course, we're gonna chop up some garlic to throw that in there with the potatoes as well. Olive oil. Of course, salt and pepper. Some Italian seasoning. Now we're gonna prepare the Brussels sprout. So this is going to be a shaved Brussels sprout. Just slice them really thin, as thin as you can get them. Next thing we're gonna chop up is a shallot. The grocery store had this giant shallot. So I'm just gonna chop this up and I'm gonna do half for the Brussels and half for the fish. So we've got some garlic. Now I will separate it with those two plates because one's for the pompano and one is for the fish. I mean, Brussels sprouts. We're about to prepare the pompano. In this moment in my life, it's one of the most anticipated moments I've had in a long time because I've been wanting pompano ever since I found out how magical pompano is. Now, Kelly wants me to put some slits in this pompano because what's gonna happen is if I don't put slits in it, the skin's gonna pull back and it's gonna cause it to start curling up on itself. So at the end of the day, you wanna put the slits in it like that. Kelly has thrown the potatoes in the oven, but now she threw some flour on this and told me to rub the flour into the pompano. Salt. Oh, that's pepper. While I was preparing the fish, Kelly went ahead and put the Brussels sprouts in the cast iron with the shallots, the garlic, and she's going to let those get brown. What are you doing now? Uh, this is tarragon. This is for the fish. Okay, this is for the Brussels sprouts. We've got some brown sugar. For the sauce, we got, we're gonna use this little saucepan and we put some oil in there. And next we'll toss in the garlic. And we'll let that heat up and then we'll throw the garlic in there. Garlic's gonna go in. So I also threw in some shallots and I'm gonna let those finalize a little bit. Let's add in our wine. And we're gonna bring that to a slight boil. Now we're gonna squeeze in some lemon juice after it comes to a boil. For the fish, we're gonna melt some butter and oil. And we're going to go skin side down first. While that's cooking, we're gonna add the heavy cream to the, the wine sauce. That's what we're just gonna call it a wine sauce. Okay. And then we're gonna throw in the lime zest, I mean lemon zest. Oh god, that fish smells good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Tony, as of this moment, right now, this is some of the most amazing smelling fish I've ever experienced cooking-wise. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and flip this fish. And we're flipping the second batch. Ooh, that looks so good. This is gonna mm. be a lot prettier than my mess up. I'm gonna tell you that right now. What was your mess up? This. 
Oh, uh, well, I mean, it's still gonna taste good though. That is beautiful. Look how much more impressive these two pieces look. I don't know. That piece looks okay, but these two look great. That, I don't know what that is. That's just a hot mess. Let's pull the potatoes out. This looks so good. So I was originally thinking the potatoes would be good in it too. So that's why I thought, ooh, but. Oh, pour some on it. Well, that's fine. Let's try it first. Cook and catch. This is what this is all about. Right here. Pompano, the potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. All of it with garlic. Just watch out for those vampires. I'm gonna try everything else before I try the pompano. I'm trying fish first. You're trying fish first? Yep. Okay, I'll try fish first. Let's go dive in. Ready? Toast. Cheers. Wow. That is so good. That is the best fish I've ever had in my life. Man, what? Wow. What? Potatoes are good. That really is hands down the best fish I've ever had in my yeah. life. No lie. Man, I used to love salmon and trout and tuna. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is better. Not, I don't know. Tuna's pretty darn good. I don't know. No. Mm. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. There we go. Tony, Jack, we would not be enjoying this meal without you. And mm -hmm. Phil. Thank you so much for hooking us up with them. Well, we're going to finish stuffing our faces because this is amazing. Uh, amazing. And we will catch you on the other. See ya.